Hi everyone, welcome. Here is your weekly golden nugget through Full Awakening. I'm Riza. Um, every week on Thursday or Friday, I've been bringing you guys these weekly golden nuggets all year and really, really love this process. Unfortunately, last week was the first week that I missed a week and I'm going to use the excuse that it was my 40th birthday and we were launching a lot of new products last week for our group class of Rise and Shine. So I was very, very, very busy up until even the morning of my birthday and I try to make a rule of not doing work on my birthday day and just enjoying, spending time to enjoy my life. Um, not that work isn't enjoyable, because it is, because it's with you guys. So anyway, we didn't do a golden nugget last week, and I apologize for that. But we're back this week um, and on Thursday, which is great. And um, yeah, we got an interesting reading today. So I'm going to do a, a reading of the poem that was from the channeled reading with Spirit, with the Council of Seventeen on what we particularly need to talk about or what would be helpful for the group of people called to watch this golden nugget. So this is speaking to you. Okay, we'll start with the reading and then I'll describe the image in more detail. This one, this uh, whole golden nugget's called Feeling Satiated. Care, comfort, connection. Feeling these deeply in your internal world feeling satiated, satisfied by this presence. From this place, can you enjoy the starburst of desire shooting up into the sky and raining down gently on your skin? What would you like to create from a place of abundance, from a place of resilient allowing, from a place of kindness towards yourself and others? So this is an interesting image. The, the very first image that I got, um, kind of simultaneously, I got the image of um, being held by this like divine male presence. So feeling this divine male presence sort of cradling me and my divine femininity, um, which is an interesting image. It's come to me once before and it was um, at the very end of a three part, very long three part cycle. Um, that had been going on for, let's see if I can do some quick math, since 2002, 2002 to last year, which was 2018, uh, that's 16 years. So a 16 year, three part cycle of encountering power and fear. And um, in this, I'll just do a brief description of it. Um, in this three-part cycle, basically what would happen each time is that I would be approached from different parts of my body in a halfway sleep state. I would be approached by a being of great power, um, a being that elicited a sensation of extreme fear in my body. And each time there was a similar quality. So the first time the being uh, presented itself as what I call a shadow of a man. So um, a male presence that gave me a very specific um, visual imprint in my mind of what they looked like, but the presentation was like a flat two-dimensional shadow presence in my room. And um, as he walked towards me, I became paralyzed. So I don't know if you've ever experienced like sleep paralysis or um, the sensation like everything is buzzing, your whole body is vibrating, and you feel the sensation I get is almost like I'm lifting out of my body. So it's almost like you're entering in sort of an astral zone, but you don't have any control over it. And you certainly don't have control over your physical body. So you can't move your body. Um, but in that state, I'm always hyper vigilant, hyper aware. Um, so that was one. I won't go into the full detail of the story. It happened to me again maybe about five years ago. And this time the being presented themselves first as my partner, which was interesting. And then the fear didn't strike me until I, I was already paralyzed by the energy that they brought, but the fear part of the paralysis didn't strike me until I realized it actually wasn't my partner standing at the foot of my bed. It was another being altogether. And then I became really afraid. And they approached me from face, you know, from the foot of the bed towards me. Um, and at that point, I had started working a lot with shadow material and with fear. And so what I did was I 
grabbed the fear energetically in my mind with my consciousness and I pulled it towards me and I pulled it into my heart and I streamed it into my heart and I was asking myself, well, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? And this is a story that I share a lot because um, I had the most profound moment of awakening from being in that level of activation and fear and drawing that energy towards me. So, you know, ultimately what I got to experience was this complete annihilation that brought me very close to a sense of divine. Um, the third time it happened was last year, about a year ago at Impact the World, which is a Lee Harris event, um, a training for entrepreneurs, especially those who are in creative spiritual endeavors. And at the end of that, near the end of that training, I had a similar experience. The reason I'm bringing this whole story up is because it relates to this reading for today um, and the image that I first got of this sort of um, almost like a, a photographic negative, you know, like this black and white sort of uh, shadow image of being held by this divine masculine force. And in my last experience of this fear and power dynamic, um, I was in, I was closing my eyes and going to sleep and I got this very clear image of being held by a divine masculine energy. And um, it was this feeling of satiation, this feeling of um, completion or safety, comfort, compassion, um, this, this really good feeling and a very trusting feeling. And so I was holding that as I was falling asleep and then all of a sudden from this part of my, um, visual sort of imaginative world in that sort of astral place, a being came in and grabbed my arm very strongly and made this really like intense face, like, wah, you know? And I had that immediate rise of that energetic, um, visceral buzzing uh, paralysis. But in that state, what I did instead of having the reactions I'd had before is I pulled that being into my heart immediately and it was instinctual. It was, there was no hesitation. I just shoved them into my heart and they went into my heart and they um, were consumed by the flame inside my heart and immediately dispersed and I just fell into a very natural, easeful sleep. So um, it was interesting and kind of strange, and I'm still putting the pieces together of why that image in particular is what started out this reading. Not the image of the being coming into my heart, but the image of that divine masculine holding and that feeling of safety and um, uh, presence, I guess. And that same sort of quality of that like two-dimensional shadow, shadowy, silhouetted in light sort of vision. It was very interesting. That's not usually how I envision things in my psychic space. So. Um, I will put that in there. Um, something about eradicating fear and being in the presence of power, being in the presence of um, being in the presence of that holding connective energy, also, and that maybe being an internal state of being, right? Maybe not relating to any external being, but a part of ourselves, right? That divine masculine ability to hold the container. So. The very beginning of our of our reading starts out with that, with that divine masculine holding and that container and that feeling of care, comfort, connection, presence, that feeling of satiation, that feeling of abundance in that moment. And then from there, there's this sort of starlight, uh, reverse starlight sort of um, firework that goes up in the air, this feeling of desire, this feeling of um, joyful expression and it explodes in the sky and all those little light particles rain down and there's just this feeling of um, beauty you know beauty and excitement for uh, witnessing that so from there spirit sort of takes us into this place of creation like how do we create where do we create from and I think that you know when we get into the reading from the card today I think this is going to come full around and fully flesh out and it's a very interesting card that we picked today um, but this idea that a lot of us are striving for abundance right now and not just what does that mean right not just like financial abundance although 
man, it would be great to feel financial abundance, right? We all desire that as sort of a baseline. I don't think that that is the end of the journey. That's sort of the, the place that we desire to sort of start out our journey in, get to that place, and then we can really create. But the problem is a lot of us who are in this creative field, um, whether it's transformational healing or otherwise, if we're creators, if we're trying to actively be a part of the shift that's happening on the planet through expression, um, there's a tinge of urgency or a tinge of that biological, physical root chakra need for abundance that comes into and distorts our creations, right? So the question Spirit's asking is, what would it feel like to create from a sense of abundance, as if you are already abundant. And abundant isn't just financial, right? Abundant is the energy that you have. Abundance is the feeling of um, resiliency, the feeling of flexibility, the feeling of ability to unfold, right? It's that expansive quality of being able to unfold. And can we create a place from a place of that? Because that is going to create more abundance in our life and the life of, lives of others we would create very differently. So it's more of a question than it is a answer, if that makes sense. It's a question for yourself to wonder, what am I creating right now in the world? You know, in all the different ways that I create, in my relationships, in the food that I eat, in the choices that I make, in the art that I do, in the way that I speak, in the way that I am with my family. Like, how am I creating? And where is it coming from? One of the things I like to think of with my children is I'm only as resourced, again, talking about abundance, I'm only as internally resourced as I can be kind in a moment of stress. So when you're getting stressed out because of time or other circumstances, how kind are you to yourself and others in those moments? And that can be a really good gauge for you about how abundant you're feeling internally, right? So that abundance is a state of mind, it's a choice, it's a perspective, um, just as much as it is an external reality. So when we went to go pull a card, we pulled a card that I have never actually pulled before from this deck, um, and I think it's an excellent card for today. So here we are, King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So as you know, Pentacles is the suit that is about the earth, so it's about a manifestation, nurturance, form, you know, and the king is the, the sort of the mastery point of knowing and doing. So he knows exactly what abundance is, right? He knows exactly what it means to be well-resourced in all the ways that we just discussed, being well-resourced. And not only that, he creates from a sense of service to others. So his ability to create abundance, his ability to express abundance and well-resourcingness is an act of service to those around him. So he's creating for that other. and. I think that that's, you know, it's, it's a perfect moment of affirmation about the reading today. Um, and I love this little gnome down in the corner. What is that gnome doing? He's like spreading seeds out. So that's kind of that message, right? Is, is that if this king of pentacles is so masterful at being abundant and of knowing what well, being well resourced and able to express, able to manifest um, as he is, then this gnome friend of his that he's connected to is the active participant in spreading the seeds of that wisdom and the seeds of that um, good juju out in the world, spreading it out into the grass. So that is the message that I would send to each of you today. Um, I hope that it helps where you are to take a moment to kind of step back. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, I have all of my windows open today and just like really enjoying the sunshine and the breeze and sitting outside and slowing it down and observing this expression of abundance coming from the earth right now um, as we enter in, you know, really midway kind of anchor really deeply into spring and are preparing ourselves for summer. We can see this sort of like this beginning of this, this bursting, passionate expression. Um, and so I hope that you feel that internally inside yourself as well and that you slow down enough to really um, touch that feeling of satiation, that feeling of all the things that are being given to you right now by life. And take that in because it's easy to miss it. It's easy to get wrapped up in the things that don't feel great or the things that are annoying or the things that feel conflictual in our lives. It's really easy to get um, swept away 
into those places. So not to deny them, definitely attend to those feelings. Um, name those feelings, hold those feelings, draw them close, don't push them away because that creates other issues. But, you know, at the same time, really take a moment to feel some gratitude. All right. Well, um, so much love and gratitude to you always, our community. You guys give me a lot a, of inspiration. You teach me a lot all the time. Please, I invite you to share this video, write your comments in the comment box, ask any questions. And if you want to go deeper with me or with the Full Awakening community, the most accessible and easiest way to do that is to join our inner circle, which is a monthly meetup where we meet on the world of the web. So you can meet from anywhere in the world. And we do it on Saturday mornings, the third Saturday of the month. And we have a beautiful online ceremony and channeling. And I answer questions basically from the perspective of the council um, to you. So people ask very personal questions or very broad questions, but it's a beautiful community and the connections that people make with each other are really gorgeous as well. So you can check that out on our website on fullawakening.net and just go to Riz's Inner Circle. I think you go to the heading Work with Riza, and then you'll see that as one of the first options is the Inner Circle. It's $17 a month, and it includes also our very extensive meditation archive, which is a archive of meditation MP3s that are building upon each other, and so um, there's a lot of resources in there for you to have a good, healthy, supported home practice in awakening. All right. Gratitude to you, and I hope you have a beautiful week, a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.